Okay. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. All right. Morning, everybody. Welcome to the December 9th meeting of the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners. Uh, before we start the meeting, if you guys would stand and please join me in a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Brent Smoyer. I'm the vice chair of the county board, currently chairing the meeting this morning uh, for uh, Larry Hudkins, the chair who is uh, absent. Uh, joining me today to my right is Commissioner Ray Jane Raybold, and to my left, uh, Commissioner Deb Shore. Uh, with us, we also have Brittany Behrens from the county attorney's office, and Corey Beatty and Dan Nolte uh, from the county clerk's office will be calling the meeting. Uh, you'll find a copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act at the rear of the hearing room, and uh, Mr. Clerk, I believe we can move along. Agenda item one or minutes approve the minutes of the Board of Equalization or the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Move approval. Second. A motion second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number two are claims. Approval of all claims process through Tuesday, December 9th, 2014. Move approval. Second. A motion second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number three is a special presentation. Recognition of Dennis Keefe, public defender, for his dedicated service to the people of Lancaster County. Dennis, you want to come on up? Is there anything to be read? Uh, yes. Yes, we've got, uh, and actually, Dan, do you have a copy of the remarks, or is this for me? Okay, well then. Um, I'll uh, read off the fun facts about Dennis Keefe uh, and his <laughs> career as... <laughs> Uh, as public defender. Um, Dennis Keefe spent nearly all of his career in the public defender's office in Lancaster County. He first started as the office's very first clerk in 1971. Um, side note, on June 1st, 1971, the board approved the employment of Dennis R. Keefe as an investigator and law clerk for a salary of a whopping $400 a month. I, I don't know <laughs> how, I mean, where'd you spend it all? That's... <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, he worked in that capacity until 1973 when he was named Deputy Public Defender. Uh, he says, like most good things, he stumbled into law as a career. Uh, doing his undergraduate work at the University of Nebraska, he worked as a bartender at a private club uh, owned by an attorney who ended up being the very first Chief Public Defender of Lancaster County. Uh, that's how Dennis got interested in law and was uh, offered a job doing some work at the office. At the time he was hired, after completing his law degree, the office had three part-time attorneys. Uh, currently, the office has 19 full-time attorneys, all of which I think are here. <laughs> um, as far as the staff goes uh, in his office, uh, Dennis is quoted as saying, you're only as good as the people you hire around you. And uh, clearly, you do have some top-notch staff. You guys have done a great job. Um, first elected as public defender in 1979, the first of nine terms in office. Oh. Wow, you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> uh, uh, he served Lancaster County for 36 years as public defender, but 43 years if we add the time uh, he started as law clerk. Over his career as public defender, Dennis has been involved with many task forces, commissions, study groups, all working toward improving the crucial role of the public defender's office uh, and that what they play fundamentally in how they, how they advocate for fair criminal proceedings. Here's a partial list of your contributions. Uh, was driving force behind the creation of the Nebraska Criminal Defense Attorneys Association, helped establish the Commission on Public Advocacy, has been an active member in the Minority Justice Committee, pushed for continuing legal education opportunities long before they were mandatory. Oh, it's your to blame for me having <laughs> Okay. Uh, continually fought for high standards for attorneys who represent people charged in criminal cases in Nebraska helped establish the adult and juvenile drug courts in Lancaster County, which has been a massive uh, success and massive savings for the taxpayers, which everybody should thank you for. Uh, he supported the development of Lancaster County's Community Corrections Department, set up one of the very first case management systems in a public defender's office in America. Uh, as a past chair of the Defender Council of National Legal Aid and Defender Association, past member of the American Bar Association Standing Committee on Legal Aid and Indigent Defense, and a former chair of the Bar Information Project has served as president of the Nebraska Criminal Defense Attorneys Association, been a member of the House of Delegates of the Nebraska State Bar Association, and is a longtime advocate of time-based standards for a public defender's office, tracking time in his office for over 30 years, 
and has written and trained others on the subject. Now, your uh, successor, Joe Nigro, a newly elected public defender, has stated, Dennis is the epitome of a public servant. He has built the finest public defender's office in the United States. He has fought for justice for the poor. Dennis Keefe isn't just the public defender of Lancaster County. He is the public defender, and we are forever in his debt. And I think uh, we would echo those sentiments here in the Board of Commissioners, and we want to thank you for your outstanding service, Dennis. Uh, it really has been an honor to work with you uh, with, with these last four years, uh, four of your, of your 43, and uh, just thank you so much. Well, I've been lucky to be here for 12 of the 43, and um, when I think back, I will picture you as an advocate particularly for the case caseload studies and your great respect for those that worked for you and to make sure that they had the resources to do their job and to serve that clientele to the best of their ability and of course to yours and so for that I'm, I'm grateful and consider you a, a role model and a mentor. I do believe Commissioner Raybould has a gift for you. So Dennis we have this very small token <clears throat> in honor of your your dedication your service, your defense of those that are the most vulnerable in our community, and your longevity. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree you have an amazing staff. We are a grateful county. We are a grateful city for all the things that you have done. And in honor of your retirement, a small clock, hopefully you'll have time to watch the time. <laughs> but thank you for everything that you've done. We appreciate it so much. Uh, please. It's interesting that there are three board members here today because when I started legally, that's all there were. There were. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier than that. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, it has been an honor uh, and, and, a, and truly a pleasure uh, to serve as Lancaster County Public Defender. There, there was really no other job that I wanted in my career as much as I wanted this job. And I, I was uh, early on in the career. I was uh, lucky enough to be able to see how other jurisdictions uh, provided for their uh, legal services for the poor. And uh, I will tell you that uh, in many instances I was not very impressed. And I promised myself that that would never happen in Lancaster County. We were going to have well-trained, uh, reasonably paid attorneys and staff and we were going to provide good services to people uh, who were indigent in this county. And uh, uh, I, I, none of this could have been possible without your predecessors, many of the county boards in the past. And I've been through a lot of county <laughs> boards. <laughs> <laughs> and, and none of it obviously could have been uh, done without the wonderful staff that we were able to hire and retain and some of the best lawyers and, and support staff of uh, any public defender in office could, could hope for. Uh, and it really, it, it's their work, you know, that reflects on, on me. It's not me doing it. Um, and I want to also thank Patty. <laughs> Why don't you come up here, would you? Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> come on. My wife has uh, stood by me oh. <laughs> in many years through. Uh, oh, so sweet. Oh. One contested election campaign, but many of them um, that were not. And she has uh, also entertained the office and uh, provided uh, entertainment. As a matter of fact, <laughs> just last night, as she posted kind of a history <laughs> of, oh. uh, from 1979 uh, forward. So we're, we're looking at that at the walls of the office. So I wanted to thank her. But uh, I'll end as I began. And I, it was an honor. A pleasure, and I will uh, miss all of you. But uh, there are other things to do. So thank you all very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, Dennis, uh, enjoy retirement as you ride off into the sunset here. And <laughs> no, we, we do. We appreciate your services. And I know uh, as a young attorney here in, in the state, it's, you are very well regarded and, and a fantastic role model to those of us who are, uh, who are up and coming. So thank you so much. And uh, just enjoy that retirement. Thank you all for being here. Now, if you want to stick around for the rest of the meeting, I promise it's entertaining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Uh, Mr. Clerk, we can move along with the rest of the uh, agenda, please. Number four is a public hearing. Proposed changes to the Lincoln-Lancaster County Air Pollution Control Regulations and Standards. Oh. Good morning, Judy Halstead, Hello. Lincoln Lancaster County mm -hmm. Health Department. That's a hard act to follow, let me tell you. <laughs> um, Go ahead and swear you in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Um, as you had Chris and, and Scott with you last week, they came in and presented to you on um, our changes for our air pollution control standards. Um, as they mentioned to you, we, we tried to put together a, a summary for you. Scott and Chris spent a lot of time putting together your five-page summary um, so that hopefully you would have an understanding of the 90 pages they also provided to you. But um, we, we hope that was easier for you. This is really clean up for us. Um, the Air Pollution Control Advisory Board, I know Larry's not here today, but they had approved it, the Board of Health approved it, and City Council approved it yesterday. These are changes primarily to um, put us in sync with the state regulations and the federal regulation changes um, to do some typo cleanup. As you know, when we try to open these, we try to open them so that we can clean up the other things that we might have missed in previous versions. But um, there are no fee increases to these sources and there are no um, significant changes to the sources themselves. So just wanted okay. to bring that to you. And Chris and Scott are both here. And if you have any questions specific to the content, they'll be happy to answer those for you. Fantastic. Questions? Um, I like this format where we just have the changes condensed as opposed to, you know, looking through pages of documents for the red lines. So I appreciate, uh, gentlemen, your work. It makes it easier on us to see what the specifics are. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Judy. Is there anyone here wishing to testify uh, in favor of the change of standards? All right. Uh, anyone opposed? Neutral? All right, we will close the public hearing on the proposed changes to Lincoln-Lancaster County Air Pollution Control Regulations and Standards. And uh, Mr. Clerk, if we can move on to new business. 5A is a resolution in matter of amending Article 1, Section 6, and Article 2, Sections 1, 2, 4, 5, 15, 17 through 23, 26 through 28, 30, and 34 of the Lincoln-Lancaster County Air Pollution Control program regulations and standards as provided in attachment A. Move approval. Second. We have a motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore. Yes. Raybold. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Motion carries three to zero. B is a special events permit application from the Lincoln Track Club to hold the State Farm Run on Saturday, March 28, 2015. Move approval. Second. Motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Raybould? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 5C is a resolution in a matter of comprehensive plan conformance number 14021, adopting the one and six year road and bridge construction program for Lancaster County fiscal years 2015 and 2016 through 2020. Hello, Ms. Dingman, County Engineer. How are you? How are you guys? So um, with this action, it brings to close my first one in six. Um, I did bring extra copies in case, and I'll go ahead and put those in your offices okay. in case people come by mm -hmm. and have an interest in them. Um, we did have two pieces of documentation that we received after the one in six, <coughs> one being from the Malcolm School District and another um, from the Waverly Thrashers in which they had all of their board members uh, sign their letter. And so I just wanted to be sure that you guys were aware that we had the extra communication um, with those two entities. Move all approval. Right. Second. We have a motion is second. Any further discussion? Well, I think we'd be amiss since we have you up here to, uh, to not acknowledge your birthday today. Happy birthday, Pam. <laughs> Will you sing? You have a wonderful voice. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm quite I'm getting over some tonsillitis, but uh, uh, singing for you in spirit. But uh, happy birthday. Uh, hope you have a great one. And of course, hope you have a nice rest of the week. Thanks. Thank you. All right, Mr. Clerk, call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. 
Motion carries three to zero. D is a resolution authorizing the installation of the following traffic signs in Lancaster County. A 25 mile per hour speed limit sign on Lidwin Lane, approximately 680 feet south of Avon Lane for northbound traffic, and a stop sign on Lidwin Lane at the intersection of Avon Lane for southbound traffic. Second. Motion to second. Uh, any commentary, Pam? I just wanted to um, let the board know that this is the area, of course, where we had the extensive talk a couple weeks ago about the gate. Mm -hmm. And um, we did coordinate the removal of the gate with the Homeowners Association. Um, and then the Homeowners Association requested um, that we do a traffic study in the area and put up yield signs. Now, when we, and of course, weather dependent, um, the good news is it didn't snow. So we were able to put out our counters and get some good counts. Yeah. That being said, um, this area kind of revealed to us what we probably already knew, but just didn't didn't have in hard data, and that's that the traffic count was nearly 400 at this intersection. Oh, wow. wow! And so, given the extraordinarily high traffic count, which I think um, caveats back to the need for 98th Street to be paved from A to O. Um, instead of yield signs, I recommended traffic signs. And then also um, we did add an additional 25 mile an hour sign um, because there has been some traffic issues out here. All right. Any further discussion? Mr. Cook, call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. <clears throat> 5E e is a resolution in the matter of fixing the date, time, and place for a public hearing regarding a request to vacate Southwest 31st Street, South of West Denton Road to the North Line, to the North Lot Line of Outlot 1, the Bridges Edition, Lancaster County, Nebraska. Move approval. Second. Motion second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries 3 to 0. F is a resolution or matter of declaring projects under, Nebra under Nebraska Revised Statute 23-120 as amended and imposing the, le the levy for the costs and indebted indebtedness for such projects. Move approval. Second. A motion is second, and I assume Dennis is here to speak about that. You're on that item right now. Yes, okay. sir. We're Sorry, along we're, we're, we're hustling. Okay. <laughs> it probably took you a while to get here from the office. <laughs> well, I was in. I was in on a conference call, so I was. Not like I, a pretty intense conference call. So anyway, okay. This resolution here is a resolution that we do on an annual basis about this time, and what state statute really does is statute says that the county can levy up to 5.2 cents a year on really bonded debt and uh, improvements and stuff like that. So what we do is we want to show, you know, how much of that 5.2 cents are we using um, each year? So here's the projects that are part of this. We've got um, the health department bond. We've got the VoIP and then we include our building fund that we levy about $204,000 out of. So of the 5.2 cents, we're actually using 0.5662, which is really a half a cent, a little over a half a cent of the 5.2. So we, we use very um, limited amount of that. So all this resolution is doing is saying, okay, this is the amount that we're actually using of that. All right. All right, having heard uh, Dennis's report, any further discussion? All right, we have motion second. Call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Thanks, Dennis. You got it. G is a resolution in a matter of authorizing use of the County Visitors Improvement Fund for visitor promotion. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? All right, per Nebraska statute, we have found facilities to be adequate, and of course, uh, in doing so, we are allowed to use a portion of that fund for visitors' promotion, and this, of course, is not property tax money. It is uh, hotel tax, uh, hotel room tax, and so uh, it is not coming out of the pockets of the property taxpayers. Uh, call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 5H is a resolution in the matter of establishing a policy governing the disposition of vacation and sick leave for any county employee who is appointed or elected to an elected county position. 
Move approval. Second. We have motion and second. Any further discussion? Any comments, Doug? Nothing? All right. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Braybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. I, as a request from the Human, Service, Human Resources Department to create a vacation usage upon retirement policy. Mr. McDaniel. Commissioners, Doug McDaniel, Human Resources. Uh, a little over a year ago, the commissioners had asked uh, the Human Resources Department and the uh, Personnel Policy Board to look at this practice. Uh, it was a practice that had been held uh, under the county for quite some time under a memo from the previous uh, uh, personnel director. Uh, we went to the board. I reported back to you a while back that the Personnel Policy Board did not have any real position on this. Uh, the practice is sometimes allowing vacation time to be run out at the end. Other practices are to cease at that point in time. We sat with our staff and uh, then took it to the Personnel Policy Board to continue the current practice. We've identified it now in uh, Personnel Bulletin itself which basically allows an employee upon retirement to use up their accrued vacation, running it out, staying on the payroll over that period of time. We find it to be a good practice to recognize the longevity of a, a county employee and would recommend approval. Right. Based upon that, I move approval. Second. We have motion and second. Any further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Graybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Thank you, Doug. J is an amendment to kind of contract C-6-201 with Global Software Inc. for the computer software spreadsheet cover ser for server for J.D. Edwards. The amendment amends the license agreement by adding the purchase of three additional user licenses, which increases the total number of users to 10, and the total amount paid by the county for user licenses to $18,000. Okay, Dennis Meyer again. Um, global Software. Um, what we're doing on, on this is getting three more licenses. What we are finding out, global software really kind of interacts with Excel. So if you're a heavy Excel user um, and you're in the accounting world for the county, this global software really helps out. I mean, um, uh, my office with me, Liz, and Rhonda, and we've got Tim using it and the treasurer's office using it. What we're now finding out that uh, it, it, it also makes sense to get it out into some of our other departments that are kind of the heavy users. I think these three, I, I think these are the three. We're moving it out to corrections, uh, community corrections, and maybe the sheriff. Don't, don't quote me on that, but those are, I think those are the three. <clears throat> so what we're doing is those, those individuals are, are heavy XL users and you can just download it straight out of JDE. So you really don't have to to be into JDE, and like I said, when you're a big XL user, it makes your life a lot easier. So this is just getting us three more to, to kind of, uh, Dan said, we'll, we'll have 10 licenses out there, and I think it's, it, it should help everybody's life out a lot easier. All right. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Thank you, Dennis. Uh, call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries <coughs> three to zero. 5K's amendment to kind of contract C-13-603 with Vulcan signs for the annual supply of alum aluminum sign blanks. The amendment renews the agreement for an additional one-year term from December 17, 2014 to December 16, 2015. Approval. Second. A motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. L is an amendment to county contract C-14-518 with Sunset Law Enforcement for the annual supply of Hornady critical duty ammunition. The amendment increases the county's maximum expenditures to $50,000. Move approval. Second. A motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. M is a grant contract with CASA for Lancaster County in amount of $15,000 to provide funding for the court advocacy for children in the juvenile justice system program. Term of the grant contract is July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 
And there's an amendment to kind of contract C-14-75 with Office Depot Inc. for office and educational supplies. The amendment renews the agreement for an additional one year term from October 18th, 2014 to October 17th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. O is a contract between LAMPS Clean Air Specialists, the City of Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the Lincoln-Lancaster County Public Building Commission for the annual supply of HVAC filters on an as-needed basis. Term the contract is one year from the date of execution by all parties. Move approval. Second. Motion is second. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Uh, Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. P is a political subdivision tort claim filed against Lancaster County Corrections by Dustin Jacobson in the amount of $40. Based on the recommendation of our Director of Corrections, I move that we deny this claim. Second. We have a motion and a second to deny this claim. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Q is a political subdivision tort claim filed against Lancaster County Corrections by Cash Riva for lost property in the amount of seventy. In the, excuse me, in the amount of sixty-seven dollars and ninety-six cents. Based on the recommendation of the Director of Corrections, I move that we deny this claim. Second. We have motion second to deny the claim. Further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore. Yes. Raybold. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 5R is a political subdivision tort claim filed against Lancaster County Corrections by Russell Reynolds in the amount of $10,000. Based on the recommendation of the Director of the Department of Corrections, I move that we deny this claim. Second. Motion is second to deny the claim. Call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number six is consent items received in place on File the following reports for November 2014. Clerk of the District Court, County Assessor Register Deeds, County Clerk, Records and Information Management. Move approval of the consent items. Second. Motion is second on consent items. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number seven is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business not on the agenda may do so at this time. Anyone wishing uh, to offer public comment? Seeing none, uh, we'll move on with the rest of the agenda. Next is number eight, announcements. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will not hold a staff meeting on Thursday, December 11th, 2014 due to the board's attendance at the NACO Annual Conference. The next regular scheduled staff meeting will be held on Thursday, December 18th, 2014 in the Bill Luxford Studio of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, December 16th, 2014 at 10.30 a.m. in Room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Equaliz Equalization immediately following. County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commish at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live. It is rebroadcast on Tuesday and Saturday on Five City TV. Cable Channel 5, in addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under 5 City TV, video on demand, or 5 City TV on YouTube. Will we adjourn? Second. Motion is second to adjourn. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries 3 to 0. All right, the Board of Commissioners now stands adjourned, and with that, we will open up the Lancaster County Board of Equalization uh, for December 9th. Uh, joining us in the rear of the hearing room is Scott Gaines, and of course there is a copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act uh, with him as well. Uh, Mr. Clerk, call me. Agenda item or minutes, approve the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Move approval. Second. A motion second for the discussion. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Raybold? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Number two, additions and deductions to the tax assessment rolls. Move approval of the addition and deduction. Second. We have a motion and a second. Call the roll, please. Raybold? Yes. Shore? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. 
Number three is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to County Board of Equalization business, not on agenda, may do so at this time. And seeing an empty hearing room, um, I assume we can move on to item four, please. Move we adjourn. Second. All right, we have a motion second to adjourn. Call the roll, please. Shore. Yes. Rabel. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Thank you for your time and attention.